Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with a rather special video which is coming out on Friday the 16th, I do believe. Um, so this video in particular contains quite a lot of stuff. So we've got different products and we've also got something that actually came out today which I'm super, super excited to have a go at, have a play at and see what this is all about and see if it is really, really like super, super cool. Because it looks to have been hyped up a lot. And I really am hopeful that this is going to really pull through and be a fantastic, fantastic thing. I don't want to spoil it too much, but what we will do is we will start off with, I think, the biggest and the best thing so far. So I apologise for the lighting. I've got like 19,000 cameras. You can probably see like 15,000 shadows going on. Um, it's dark outside, so I, I mean, make the, ba make the best. I need to get this, uh, this video up. But we have a box in particular. Now of course we're pro okay Pikachu's fallen over. You might already or also notice the background might have changed a little bit hopefully when we go down a little bit and that way you'll see it a bit more. But we have a box here which I have slightly opened up here. This is the main meat of the video right here right in this thing right here. We've got accessories. We have also got other products which came out today which we've got all here to show off. We're not going to be opening all of the stuff up this is the main thing to open and we'll have a look at everything else because it's not super duper needing to have a massive unboxing but this is so without further ado i have cut into it just to just for ease of access basically let's pop the sides open here and we're firstly greeted with of course this beautiful amount of uh, air we like a bit of air but what is the main thing well we have Pokemon let's go and we have the Eevee edition Eevee edition also comes with this awesome looking key ring which is a massive Pikachu and it is rather big actually it's pretty uh, handheld nice and squishy as well which is always pretty cool it's got this little cardboard piece in there as well let's actually open this up we're not keeping this all mint condition, this is ours now. We need to open it up, we need to have a look at it and check out what it is all about. So, popping this out, that is just a separate piece. Nice, so I don't have to uh, hold on to that. But look, this is just literally a keyring, but it's got Pikachu on it. There's a bit of fluff and everything on it, but that, that's easily fixed. Very, very nice indeed, nice and fluffy. Um, nice big bulky keyring if I'm honest, if I'm, I'm brutally honest, I mean let's just have a comparison with of course a Pokemon card of choice a reverse tangler. There it is right there. So it is it's pretty cool, it's pretty big as well, which is always very very nice indeed. So yeah, a very nice Pikachu keyring to start things off here which is really nice and soft and fluffy. That is really really cool indeed. So we'll pop that off to the side. And of course, in here, we do have the Nintendo Switch. Now, for those people who might have seen that I've already had a Switch, you'd be correct. And for those of you thinking I'm struggling slightly, I'm not. Don't worry. Oh my god, this is heavy. Okay, ready for the bang? There's the bang. Okay, so, there it is right there. We have our Nintendo Switch. Now, I had to. I had to do this. If I was, go if I was going to get... Pokemon theme switch this is exactly what I would have wanted to have Eevee and Pikachu to have different colored joy cons it is super super cool indeed so this is basically what we've got we've got the box this is almost the exact same size box for the normal Nintendo switch now I don't know whether the game is inside or it's pre it's pre-installed okay so we might probably not have a disc or a cover or anything like that so it's all on here already so in selling this we would sell the game I'm not saying I'm going to sell it but that's just how it would go so I think uh, the moment of truth has come let's ooh, let's have a look at the back oh, look at that picture look at that artwork that's beautiful on the side it shows you exactly what is in here um, so there's several things obviously which we'll have a little look at right now check out everything on the side there it shows again everything that is in this included <coughs> so let's pop this open we've got an Eevee and a Pikachu right there lift this up and then let's do it let's pull this all up and there it is right there 
there is the brand new switch. Very, very cool indeed. So of course we have our switch right here, which I recognize, but look at the back. Look at that, that is beautiful. So we've got Eevee and Pikachu all over this thing on the back, which is really, really cool indeed. So let's slide this out. There it is right there, very nice. Very nice indeed, it's just how I remember it. You've got your game card cartridge up here. You got your little kickstand back here as well. That's that's uh, ideal, obviously, if you're putting it on a desk or something. Um, the charging area is just down here, but that background is beautiful. Really, really nice indeed. Really cool, and you can even see me. You can even see me. So let's plonk that back in there for two seconds whilst we get these Joy Cons out. So first one is a yellow one. I wonder if this is supposed to do with Pikachu. So we've got our yellow Joy Con right here. Very, very nice. So of course we can st actually start attaching these up. Not that I don't think they'll work, but we can obviously attach it up to get that full look of the switch. The EV as well. <laughs> That's basically what they're going to be called. We've got the Pikachu and the EV Joy Con now. So we now have that all set up. That's all ready to go. Feels nice. Feels just like it was before. It looked exactly like it is before, but of course we've got that difference now of having the brown, the yellow, and of course the back on this is slightly different as well. So very, very cool stuff indeed. There is the switch. We'll plop that off to the side. So let's lift this out. We're probably going to have, yeah, we've got everything else in here as well. Uh, let's just plunk that down there for two seconds. So we've got our little booklet there, which obviously goes over everything to do with the Nintendo Switch. We then probably have our case in here, wrapped in bubble wrap and wrapped in this stuff. Oh, it doesn't give away the big reveal, because there it is right there. Very nice. So we've got the Eevee and the Pikachu on the front there. That looks really, really nice indeed. You've got the charging area down there as well. You obviously drop it in and it charges. The back as well shows you this nice little flap that comes down and all the different areas there. USB, AC adapter and a HDMI. That is all in there. Looks incredibly amazing. And especially obviously when you do drop this on top, everything becomes one. You get the nunchuck, which obviously continues with that. You get nunchuck, it's a Joy-Con. And then you obviously get the Joy-Con here, which continues on to see the Eevee. So very, very nice indeed. That is some pretty sweet stuff. So let's just try and keep everything where it was. Of course, we also do get uh, the uh, the sort of like extra bits which sort of make the... Um, when you obviously take these out, you can then plug these on and this will then give you like better pushing ability rather than a small button, uh, which is obviously what, what sort of happens with this. But that's the sort, that's the... I want to say that's the Eevee one. Yeah, it is. And you can tell that by the little minus symbol right here because Eevee does also have a minus symbol. And then we've also got a brown one for the Pikachu side with the plus. And again, got those buttons there as well. So we have got those in the middle as well if we really, really wanted to. And obviously if we're playing, um, you know, with something that possibly needs a bit of a controller, we've got this as well. Slide both of them in. Happy days. That is all sorted. Don't need any power for that except the power that obviously comes with the Joy-Cons. Move that over there. And that can go there. That's the Pokeball Plus little instruction booklet. Looks as if we've got that that right here. There. Oh wow. Okay, that is that is quite small. We'll have a little bit of a size comparison. But what we have in here, that is the USB um, adapter plug, which basically plugs uh, plugs into the back of this to charge it. So we've got that right there. That's pretty cool. We'll leave that to last. Uh, HDMI lead. Of course, that's that's quite important if you want to get that set up to the TV. And we've also got the normal plug here which obviously you plug into the back in order to give the switch some power. Which is exactly what we want. So we've got that right there. Very, very cool. HDMI as well. And then of course that last little area is going to be the Pokeball. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So let's actually get this little fella out. And when I say little fella, it is very, very tiny indeed. This is very, very tiny. Wow, this looks amazing. Does it light up or anything? Oh, look at that, it lights up. So it has got some charge to it. Now it's got this 
how do I say, there's like a plastic, um, there's like a plasticky feel to the outside where the black is, so it's almost plasticky. But then the top, the, the red and the white, is not felt, but it's, or, and not rubber, but it's like, it's grippable. It's like a grippable material, if that makes any sense. But, you know, you can, you, you've obviously got this to hold on to and move around and everything. You throw this, obviously, to throw at the uh, Pokemon. And then on the top there, that is also a button. Don't know if you can hear that. But you've got this, this clicks in as well. There's no other buttons on here, per se. But it does look so cool. It looks so awesome. There is this little thing as well, which I guess might be some sort of like, ah, yeah, it is. Look, it's like a thumb, like a thumb grasp. So you've at least got something to hold on to with your thumb in case this does come loose. You're not gonna, it's not gonna come off unless obviously you do take it off your thumb or something. You can obviously wrap it around um, with this little piece here, which looks as if it might be unconnectable or something. Looks like it, but it might not. I don't want to really... Oh, yep, there we go. So it does un unconnect. Now, this is actually quite um, heavy as well. So it's not light. It's it's small, but it's hefty, which is really nice, because obviously <laughs> you'd be having a few concerns if it was like a really, like, plasticky piece of kit. But this is... It's nice. It's a nice bit of bulk to it. Um, <clears throat> it's... How can I say? It's not as big as a tennis ball per se. Uh, it's more like a snooker ball if I'm honest. If anyone's like seen a snooker ball or a pool uh, ball, it's that sort of size. Again, we'll bring in a card just for that comparison next to it. There it is right next to a card. So it is quite small, but it's pretty cool. I like how they've got sort of everything from a Joy-Con into this, but it's so cool. It is really, really nice indeed. Very, very cool. So, that is everything from this box right here and I cannot wait to have a go at this because there's everything here so I'm going to have to set this up again. The game is already pre-installed like I said so there's no, um, there's no actual disc or anything in here for me to install it. It's all on there which is going to save me a heck of a lot of time which is always very very nice. So let's try and slide this back on without any trouble. Might be just that section and that section. There we go, that'll do. And then, of course, we've got a few bits of uh, packaging there, which we'll just plonk on the top for now. Let's close this up. We've got everything that we really want out of this. Obviously, we can't turn it on yet, but uh, everything we want is right in this box. There we go. So there we go, we've got our switch out, we've got our, obviously all of our accessories, which look really, really cool indeed. We've got that nice Pokeball as well, the Pokeball Plus. And of course our Joy-Con extras, and that nice Pikachu keyring. But we're not done. Oh no, we're not done. That is not just it guys, do not worry. We have a few accessories as well to go along with this. Now I didn't know about this when I pre-ordered this, but there is actually something else which can be very, very helpful with this in particular. And that was this. So what this is, is this is a Pokeball Plus, and you'll see that the Pokeball Plus sits in here. This is basically a charging stand. Now what this does is, you could probably set this up in your computer, because obviously USB. And we'll have a little look at it, just to uh, see what this actually looks like. Pop this out. Up a bit of uh, cardboard to it, but we can uh, we can pull through. Oop, plasticky bit there. I'll we'll rescue that in a second. So if we take that out there, we've got our instruction booklet as well, of course. Can't go anywhere without instructions. So let's pop if we can. Ah, it's, it was that way. No, it wasn't. It was that way. There we go. Right, fab. So let's slide that down there, close that up, put that to the side. Right, now let's get this thing out because what this is, is a very interesting accessory. Now for me, and I think a few others have noticed this, is that this is almost like one of the, uh, the Pokey healers when you take it to the Pokey uh, Center to have a Pokemon healed. It very much looks like the sort of thing that the ball goes on in order to uh, recharge itself. 
So the good thing about this is obviously it's very small, it's compact. Obviously you could just take the the wire itself, just the wire, which would be this. But this, this is nice. This is very, very nice indeed. And say you possibly have two of these, at least then you can have one in your hand and then possibly switch it over and then charge it on this, which would definitely help, again, save time. But it also looks very, very cool indeed. So in order to do that, on the very back of this, there is a area here where you can open this up. I'll try and do this on camera without doing anything to the ball. See if we can get access to it. There it is. So we pop this bit out and then on the back there you can see the hole there with the plug. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly try and grab that plastic bit on the floor. There we go, unpackage that. So this is this little clasp thing here. So what we do with this is you're basically going to connect it up from what I see. There we go. So that gets plugged into there. So you can see that. Why does that look like a toilet? Um, anyway, I don't think it's supposed to look like a toilet, but the good thing is, look at this, you can actually sort of turn this round and store that nicely on the back there, so you might even be able to play with it still attached like that. Now the whole point, I think, is to literally drop it on like that, and when it's dropped on, you can actually see that there's, there's like a pressure plate here, which allows the, the charging signal to come through to this, so it looks really nice like this, actually very nice way to display it even if you didn't want to use it to charge it's a very nice way to display your poker uh, your pokeball plus like that very cool indeed and we're not finished with that we've also got a new case of course we've got to have a new case so I've, again i've already taken the liberty of opening this up slightly just so we can pull out some bits and pieces here there was a little uh, tag there and of course we did have this sort of top bit which obviously tells you about this product. But in particular, it's just a very bog standard case here. Uh, security tag. Nice. <laughs> um, I'm guessing you can put your joy cons in there. This little bit can sort of like come out here. Um, oh, that's like a protection type thing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That can sort of come down, protect the screen. And you can even actually see, look at that. You can actually see the switch there. So that shows you where to place it. That goes on top, nice screen protector just in case. And then of course you've got that nice pokeball looking front. Very, very cool indeed. So that is all of the Pokemon Let's Go stuff per se, but we still do have some other Pokemon products to have a look at. Now this stuff won't be opened up because we will have our own videos on these coming up on the channel. So. You can definitely look forward to that on the channel. We're not just going to burst open every single thing on the channel today. So, let's have a little look at that. Let's clear some space here for two seconds, just so we can get some access to a little bit of an area. Okay, so, most of the stuff actually relates to today, uh, and obviously with this coming out. Now, two things that I want to show you, show you, and hopefully they do make some different designs of these in the future, are these. Now these are very, very interesting indeed. So, from memory, this is a poker ball, and I think this is a quick ball, I think. I might be wrong, but what these are, and you might hear something jingling, apparently there, you might also probably see that in here are three Pokemon TCG booster packs and one coin. That's obviously the coin. Now, these are actually made of metal, so they're not plastic, they are metal so nice and shiny they look really cool indeed nice bit of plastic around them obviously to protect what is in here so we will be opening both of these on the channel probably do one at a time just so we can explore what's in either of them but they're very cool they look really cool and hopefully they can uh, pack some interesting pulls and also we do also have and i'm excited to see another one of these coming along We've also got another tin, or it's a Pokemon treasure chest type thing, uh, packed with Pokemon treasures. So you can see what is it actually on here without the screen being stupid about it. Um, but you've basically got five packs, you've got a booklet with uh, Eevee and Pikachu on it, some stickers, and you've also got a Moltres, Articuno and Zapdos card. And speaking of them, they're actually on the back here. 
look really really cool though very very nice got Eevee there uh, side there probably Pikachu's there as well but a very nice tin indeed of course that is matching very nicely with what has happened today and the last thing to show off which again is Pikachu and Eevee related is of course the Pokeball collection right here we have a little figure of Eevee and Pikachu there we actually had a, f a figure guys We've got a promo of the Energy Evolution Eevee, and we've also got a different type of Pikachu hiding back there who doesn't really want to come out to play just yet. We've got a Pokeball in the middle as well. Whether that's made of metal as well, it's quite cold, so hopefully that might be made of metal. There are several packs actually hidden within that ball, uh, believe it or not. But this is, this is another thing which we'll be opening on the channel very soon, guys, so definitely stay tuned for this. So, ooh, almost dropped that. So yeah, a big massive load of Pikachu and Eevee coming out today. Loads of stuff indeed. So I'm going to be loading up the game, I'm going to be having a go, checking it out, seeing what's, what's, uh, what's good. Um, hopefully I will give you guys an update on what's going on with the game, hopefully when we open this on the channel. Um, but yeah, really really cool stuff indeed. So if you guys are looking to see the openings for these in particular, Definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Of course, if you want some updates on the Nintendo Switch and how we're getting on with Pikachu and Eevee, or in, in this case, Eevee, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, apart from that, I'm going to leave it here for this video. Enjoy your Friday and your weekend, and I will see you guys in the next video on the channel.